This season on Reality Rehab, seven of your favorite reality TV superstars can't stop acting like the stereotypes they were turned into on your favorite shows. Based on Dr. Jen's new book, Reality Bites Back, the troubling truth about guilty pleasure TV, in stores near you November 1st, they will emerge transformed and deprogrammed. All this and more, coming up this season on Reality Rehab. That was hot. Excuse me? I don't know. I mean, that was hot. That was hot. Like, porno hot. You just gotta follow through. You guys gotta fall on a bed. There's no bed in here. Or a floor. I mean, and anywhere, really. Just, and then you're, you're kissing, and then you're rubbing. And then the guy comes in. Yeah. And he looks a lot like me. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes it's a black guy. No, what? Hold on. Let me stop you both there. Can anybody tell Douchebag what he did wrong? He called me a hoe. Nope. I called you a porn star. You know, that's different altogether. It's a totally different tax bracket. Okay, first of all, Douchebag, the lesbians you see on TV are not actually lesbians. They're not real lesbians. They're not? No, look, they're just cast and edited to play to that male fantasy that you just laid out there. Aren't you being anti-gay or anti-sex or something? Oh, absolutely not. Being pro-sex is all about respect. It would be great if there were real lesbians on TV, but that's just not the case in reality TV. Lesbians just don't exist there. Yo, I want to be called by my real name. You know, respect goes both ways, doc. Okay, fine. Let's see if you've earned your name yet. It's time to get back to your real identity. Now, Jason- Jace Hung. Excuse me? I pronounce my name Jace Hung. You know, like I'm hung. Wow, just, wow. I'm not gonna call you that. Listen, you can't just demand that two women you don't know start making out. Why, wait, why? Hey, I thought if I brought it up, you guys would want to- Yes, uh, yes, I know, fun. I know, I know. Try and figure out why you gave yourself that ridiculous nickname. How do you know I gave myself that nickname? You don't think that's obvious to everyone here? I thought- I, I know. Jay, look, the first thing you need to understand is that not every woman is going to want to sleep with you. I mean, yes, you have a well-defined body and your face is acceptable. Acceptable? Yes, douchebag, you're acceptable, but gangster guy, this applies to you too. For most women out there, there's more to life than being mistreated by some meathead with six-pack abs. Most women won't sleep with you when you act like this. And you'll find that the ones who do, they're kind of just punishing themselves. Women like douchebags, right? Have you ever been to a college bar or a TGI Fridays around midnight? I mean, what's that supposed to tell you? You think I wanted to read Maxim? I have a comparative lit major for God's sakes. I have a whole medicine cabinet full of Cox body spray. What am I supposed to do with that? When my girlfriend told me I should be on Tool Academy, at first I thought it was a compliment and now... You know, I'm pretty glad to drop that douchebag act. I was getting tired of the GTL. You know, those Jersey Shore boys, they're gonna make a lot of money on that catchphrase, but I think there's more to me than just going to the gym and getting tan and doing laundry. GTL, GFO, 